So what today's video is going to be about is using Curly Coily Tresses products to style your hair using curl formers, uh, using Anita Grant Babasu shampoo bar, as well as a natural curls club pick, comb, and um, brush. So that's, and then, oh, also I used a blow dryer from Dry Bar with a hooded bonnet uh, that I attached to the blow dryer for drying. So I'm going to show you, I'm going to go ahead and shampoo my hair, use the Nourish treatment on it, and then enrich moisturizer as my leave-in. And then I detangle in the shower, and then I put the enrich on before I exit the shower. And then once I'm back out and my hair is separated, clipped, and, um, and all nicely detangled, then we'll pick up at that point in the video, but you'll see a complete styling session of how you go from um, whatever your style may be to this finished style. Stay tuned. Hello. So this is the next step. I just came out of the shower. I washed my hair with Anita Grant Babasu Shampoo Bar, rinsed well. Then I applied Nourish Treatment. I made sure it was in very deep to the scalp as well as on the hair. Started my detangling process, rinsed well, and then I followed up with Enrich Moisturizer as my leave-in. So Enrich is on my hair now. My hair is detangled and sectioned. I am ready to start putting in the curl formers. And you'll see that next. Squalene oil. Make sure I stay with my part there. One last smooth. Take the curl former. We hook it around the hair. As you can see, hair is completely inside the hook there. Push the curl former up, grab, and pull all the way out. Curl former in. We're going to do that again. So here's the rod. It comes with it. We slide it onto the end of the curl former. Push it all the way through. Get some squalene oil here. And this root is feeling a little dry. I'm going to spray that with some distilled water. Head section the hair off. Smooth through to make sure we got all those tangles out. Okay, so here we are for the next phase. Hair is still in the curl formers. It is dry. Spent two hours under the dryer. I'm getting it dry and I'm going to show you how to take it down and style it. So to remove the curl formers, you just want to Grab the part that's closest to your scalp and kind of push it a little bit open. Stretch the curl former out and then slide it right out of your hair. Pop it open, stretch it out, slide it out of your hair. Again, pop it open, stretch it out, slide it out of your hair. We just keep repeating that. Oh, and the curl formers that I use, they are clockwise and counterclockwise. And what I found is mixing them up, rather than doing half your head one way and half the other, I like the, the resulting style much better by mixing them up. Now, if any of the curls, when they pop out, if they droop down, sag down, that tells you that the curl, the hair was not dry. And what it's going to do if you don't go ahead and dry it with the curl former on it is it's just going to frizz. So you do want to make sure that all of them are dry and that the curls are springing back up as you are taking the curl formers out. Let's see. So again, you want to squeeze the end, stretch it out, Slide it down. Make sure the curl springs back up. That's how you know it's dry. If you pull the curl former out and the hair just kind of droops, you know it's still wet or at least damp. So I suggest you put the curl former back in and let that part dry. 
or use the um, blow dryer on it just to get it spot dry. I also do a quick check to see if there are any shed hairs in the curl former. So I can go ahead and pull that out so that it won't be in the way the next time I use the curl formers. Okay, so all the curl formers are out and we are ready to style. Okay, so here we are for the final phase. The curl formers are out. We're ready to separate the curls. One of the things I like to do is just go ahead and brush back my edges a little bit and just smooth things out underneath. And then to separate the curls, you want to break them up where they're naturally separating and just easy does it. If you're too rough with the separation, you will get frizz. So I won't frizz. You work too hard to get to this point to have frizz. And the more you separate, the more fullness and volume you'll have in the finished results. So this is what we're doing. Again, you're just sliding. You're using mostly your index finger and your thumb to slide through and break up the curl. And again, the more you break it up, the more fullness you will have. So if you want it to be fairly low key, you just separate the curls once or twice. But if you want volume, you keep separating. But again, easy does it. Now I know some people recommend using oil to go ahead and separate with. I don't, but it certainly is an option for you. Again, easily breaking the curls apart. I break them apart full a few times so that I can get maximum volume. Okay, so now we've got our pick going in. It helps to break up the part lines also give you additional fullness. So you just want to slide it in and gently shake. Slide it in, gently shake. Slide it in and gently shake. 